Hi, my name is Miles. This is part three of my how to make a dry fuel cell. Very cheap. Now, this is my bubbler that I've made. I bought it at the shop for about a dollar, dollar ten. Very strong plastic lid and container. Won't have any problems with that. Bought myself a few, um, whatchamacallum, to put my pipes on. Okay, to get started, I drilled two holes. As you can see, one down the bottom, one up the top. I drilled a hole on top of the um, cap. As you can see, it's a copper. Everything's copper that I use. I don't know, I think it's pretty good. It does heat up a bit, but not too much. Okay, as you can see, just put the lid on. First of all, our connections. Put the bottom one in first. Then we'll just screw I'll try to put my camera like this so I can exactly show you what I'm doing. Bear with me. There we go. I've put a uh, rubber gasket on there so it don't leak, for the water don't leak. a little hard to get it on there but there we go one's on you can tighten up that later on with a spanner or something you know as long as your water don't leak and there's the next one there we go Beautiful. Let's grab my camera. As you can see, an inlet and an outlet. The outlet is a top one where your hydrogen will come out. The inlet is water which will be normally going down to your hydrogen fuel cell. Put your cap on. Sometimes these caps, they are, uh, these containers, they are made that the water don't leak through them, okay? Maybe you can get away with that, maybe not, because water is thicker than air or gas, you know, and it won't leak, but as a precaution, I'll make a little gasket in there out of rubber, and then I'll put the lid on to the top and screw it on. But otherwise, I don't know, I reckon, I reckon it's best to put a gasket, then you won't have any leakage. And there's my bubbler. And when you mount this, make sure both of your inlet and outlet are covered by water. That means up to here. Not up to here, not up to here. But up to here make sure your water level is up to here okay and when you're mounting your um, uh, bubbler make sure it's higher than your dry cell okay if it's lower or the same level uh, it just won't work thanks for watching let me know how yours goes